welcome to another Concept Art Masters tutorials. And uh, in this one, I would like to show you how to create those uh, stem brushes that you will add more texture to your rocks or anything actually that you do. So what you do, this is an image from morgfile.com. That's where I get all my images for free. And it's a really good place. Uh, go check it out. All right, so now that you have a photo here, for example, rock, you will go under select and choose color range. In this instance, I will use shadows and click OK. So now you see all these marching ants and they have selected the shadow areas. Control copy or you can go under edit and then copy and then control V which is paste or go under edit and paste now that I have, that I have pasted it I will deselect, I will remove the other photo the original photo actually I'm sorry I forgot I did not copy it for some reason oh because it was not selected on, on that layer copy paste <clears throat> not to select the original image now you see everything over here is black and gray and all the highlights everything else is uh, removed now you can start creating those custom uh, brushes that will give you a lot of texture on rocks and everything and how you do that is you choose lasso tool you press letter L on your keyboard I will choose a different one the regular lasso and now I can just go around this one like this select it edit define brush preset and name the brush I will say um, rock texture deselect select the brush again go over here and find a new brush which is right here see now when I click it's there see there you go and then you can do with any other brushes uh, any other areas of the rock as well for example if I want this big rock area right here I'll go something like this cut it off right here something crazy like this now if you want to fix it kind of you copy this area paste it again close the, the bottom one now move this and use the erase tool so you can erase edges maybe so you can make it more uh, edge friendly <laughs> Choose different brushes you already have here, and then go in. So it so it doesn't have those typical corners. That's what I'm trying to say. You race, go around, make it as random as possible. Sorry about the train. If you hear it, it's passing. Um, the more uh, random your brush that you already have, the better it is uh, for cutting these corners, making a brush more texture-like. So you can even use the previous brush that we've made uh, right here. Let's see, and more. So let's say I let's say I like this. So I will again select it and go edit. If I'm brush rock texture two B 
Let's use a brush. There goes that brush right here. Yeah. Let's see why is my opacity not. There you go. And now when you paint a regular brush using those previous brushes, I mean, a regular brush, paint a regular. Rock. You paint a rock. I'm just going right quick over it. There you go. You can see it there. And you're adding a lot of texture. Now you choose the other one and add more texture there. Increase. Pass, not passive, but lightness. That's how you add more texture to your brushes. I hope this video tutorial was helpful. If you like it, please uh, leave me a comment, subscribe, and of course, like this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.